Was it a plane? Aliens? Perhaps a meteor? Northern Lights? Just before 10 p.m. last evening, people on Facebook and Twitter reported seeing an unidentified flying object in the sky above St. John's. Chris Stevenson is past president of the St. John's Center of the Royal Astronomical Society, and he's on the line. Good morning. Good morning. So what's your sense of what people saw or thought they saw last night in the sky above St. John's? Uh, Well, um... I don't know, maybe unbelievable falling object might be better. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Um, uh, almost certainly it was uh, what we call a bolide, which is a very bright uh, kind of sporadic meteor. A, a what? Meteor. No, a meteor I got. The, oh, bolide? Broli- bolide. B-O-L-I-D-E. Okay. Uh, it's a very, very bright meteor, uh, much brighter than the run-of-the-mill meteor. Uh, these things can rival the brightness of the full moon. Okay. And... Um, uh, one tip off, uh, despite the fact that green is our favorite alien color, mm-hmm. uh, one tip off was that this was blue green. And uh, there have actually been some uh, re- recent dish reports. Uh, these things happen occasionally. Uh, in, back in September, over Tucson, Arizona, uh, they, had, they saw sighting of a bright green fireball. Uh, every now and then you'll actually see f- green fireball up in Wikipedia and so on. Um, some of these large uh, chunks of rock, they're about the size of baseball or basketball, uh, when they hit the Earth's atmosphere at uh, several tens of kilometers a second, and of course they, they burn up very fiercely, very mm-hmm. brightly. They, they contain traces of nickel and magnesium, and that's what gives them the green color. Um, now, normally meteors are associated with meteor showers, and there's you know, a dozen medium to bright uh, sized uh, showers throughout the year, which you can go out and look at just by looking at these meteors. Uh, There is no shower associated with this one. Um, And uh, so that makes it what's called a sporadic meteor. Um, The sightings uh, from the ground are all sort of clustered in the northeast uh, United States and Quebec, Ontario, and I think there's even one from Carbonier. Uh, uh, here. Oh, so this thing was seen uh, quite quite a distance then. Well, oh, yeah, um, over a larger distance than you might expect for a single event. So, uh, and I'm I'm still uh, reading uh, what other people are, of course, and I'm mm-hmm. waiting to hear back from a friend of mine uh, who studies these things professionally. Um, but uh, it might actually be a, a couple of them, uh, a swarm of them, um, seen over about the 29th, you know, the evening of the 29th, throughout mm-hmm. the 29th. Uh, but uh, not an airplane. Uh, an airplane would uh, would be, of course, uh, much much more slowly moving. Right. Because I see I see one one description on Facebook is that it was turquoise in color, was rounded on the bottom and tapered to a point on top. It looked big, but it was hard to tell how far away it was because it was moving extremely fast towards the ground. Yes, uh, fast towards the ground. Well, uh, line of sight thing. You know, it might have been looking like it was coming up from the horizon if, if uh, the fireball was seen in that part of the sky, but fast towards the ground, a meter falling towards the ground. Curved on the bottom, pointy on the top, mm-hmm. right? Um, uh, you know, the fireball is on the bottom, and it sort of thins out to a tail behind it, pointy on the top, uh, and especially the turquoisey blue color, specifically that blue-green color is, is very indicative of, of this particular kind of, of a fireball. All right, so we're not talking aliens then? Uh, Unless they're tiny little microbes that were inside the rock and the, some of the rock got to the ground. That's all conjecture. <laughs> no, they're probably most definitely not aliens, unless they're hardy little buggers that can survive a very ferocious temperatures. <laughs> okay. All right, Chris, appreciate your time this morning. No problem at all. All right, bye now. Cheers. That's Chris Stevenson, past president of the St. John's Center of the Royal Astronomical Society. Did you see this uh, thing in the air last night? Give us a call. Let us know what you saw. 576-5259 is our morning line number or toll free 1-866-576-5259.